fact that it's here, we have all the archival documentation to show it, makes it an incredible story and one that we're so proud to tell the world about. When I first heard about this discovery, my uh, first reaction was one of disbelief, to be honest. I'm the resident trustee of Blair Castle, which means I live here. I oversee the runnings of the castle and the estate. Blair Castle was first built in the 13th century and is incredibly well placed strategically. It is the gateway to the Highlands. It's a castle packed with history, a very alive building still today. I was in some of the back rooms near the cellars, trying to work out what was rubbish, what could be thrown out. There was actually a continuation of the cellar behind this door that we didn't know was there and was full of bottles. It was two shelves and they were all covered in dust. The front section of the bottles was mostly bottles of slow gin, but then behind them was this large collection of bottles and there on the shelf was this sign saying, Whiskey, cast, 1833, bottled, 1841. I did what anyone in that position would do and took a bottle back to the family to taste. A discovery like this of, of whiskey of this age is something truly special and your first question in these instances is where did you find these bottles, how long have you had them? And for the answer to be that these were probably produced on the estate in which they were found is something truly unprecedented. I asked my mother if she knew about it. She did, but I think it had been a long time since she'd been in there. We tried it and we, we knew then, through the smell and the taste, the colour, that it was a great whisky. It was delicious. The castle still has things that we discover. Just when you think there's nowhere that we haven't looked, there's always a little hidden treasure. I look after the castle collections, essentially. So whether those collections are the paper collections in the archive or artefacts in the castle itself. It was so exciting to see these bottles that opened up so many possibilities. What could they be? How long had they been there? Couldn't wait to have a look at them. We find information that backs up the date of 1833 and more information about whisky on the estate and in the castle at this time. One of the really interesting things that we came across was the bin book, which was basically what would have been in the castle cellar. And there in the bin book detailed is 72 bottles of whisky in cask. And our whisky would have been in cask at that point. We had the household book from when Queen Victoria visited the castle. And listed in that household book is what the family consumed and listed there is whisky. Be wonderful to think that Queen Victoria drank some of our whisky. We actually have in the castle attics a, a still that was found on the estate, which adds to the history of distillation on the estate. We care for the castle, its contents, its history every day. But when you find something new, which has such amazing story attached to it, it breathes new life into the castle and the people that live and work here. The chance to share the history and the excitement of this discovery with everyone is just so wonderful. The discovery of these bottles of whiskey is a truly historic moment. I manage the exhibition and authentication of rare and collectible bottles of whiskey in our regular monthly sales. To bring these bottles to auction, which were distilled back in 1833 and probably the oldest whiskies available on the market, is something truly spectacular and for them to have been produced in the region that we call a home at Whiskey Auctioneer is, is doubly special for us. When you see thousands of bottles of whiskey like I do every month, you can often kid yourself into thinking you've seen everything before, but the world of whiskey can always surprise you. We believe this to be the oldest Scotch whiskey ever brought to auction. As with all bottles sold at Whiskey Auctioneer, establishing authenticity is the highest priority. With bottles of this age, this can often require some special and additional measures. For this whisky, we sent a sample to the Scottish University's Environmental Research Centre. The results of the radiocarbon analysis that they conducted confirmed a time period in line with the year in which we believe this was distilled. This has included discovering cellar records that show the cask being stored here in 1834 and antique equipment. The 24 bottles will be sold as individual lots, each with an accompanying booklet, and the auction will take place between the 24th of November and the 4th of December. As a global online whisky platform, there's an opportunity here for whisky lovers all over the world to take part in something truly momentous. This is a landmark moment in whisky history, and I genuinely believe this could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity.
It's a great opportunity for us to share the story of the castle of Scottish whisky with the rest of the world.